doing our standard recap of the session instead, I will let you know that last session, you all went through the rest of the Dragon Hatchery, met up with Sianrath once more, and promptly defeated him. Whereupon you tried to take a rest until you heard the screams for help from Nick, who was being overrun by a group of Sturges at the mouth of the cave. You came to his aid, and again, attempted to make rest, but heard some kobolds off in the distance, and with some clever trickery from Queequeg holding up Sanrath's severed head, you were able to push him away and finally got at least an hour's worth of rest that was well needed. From there, you decided to deal with the kobolds and met uh, not only the kobolds, but some guard drakes and a roper named Carl. Uh, Vinegar made some made an ally of Carl, uh, but the alliance was short-lasted. From there, you decide, uh, you found the clutch of black dragon eggs, and Vinegar wanted to keep one, but the party had other plans and destroyed the entire clutch. So from there, you decided to leave the hatchery, but uh, Queequeg noticed an alcove in the dragon shrine room where uh, you had faced off against Sianrath. There was carvings to Tiamat and other black dragons in the room. And in that alcove, there was a rope ladder that led up to a uh, space that was covered by a rug. Going through there as stealthily as you could, you found Frulam Mondoth in her chambers. Uh, she pleaded for her life said that she uh, wasn't really married to the cult and didn't want to die for them. You guys refused her offer, and combat was initiated when a whole bunch of guards and dragon claws and mercenaries came out of the room before her, the barracks. Through a tough battle, a uh, near-deadly battle, the group prevailed, and found uh, a map, some notes, and a key to a treasure chest. The chest was, or the key belonged to the chest in the shrine room, where the party found numerous uh, gems, some gold, and uh, a ring and an amulet, I believe, belonging to uh, the townsfolk of Greenest. From there, you all set off back to Greenest, Probably met up with Grunty at some point there. And it was uh, well into the evening when you arrived back at Greenest. Was shoulder am I on? Um, probably Nick still. Nick had a soft spot for you. You were last riding mine, but yeah. Go ahead and choose whoever you'd like. You're mobile. Vinegar decided it best to go back to his swamp. With Mondoth dead, he had no other reason for traveling with you guys. He didn't get to keep an egg. <laughs> he didn't get to keep his egg. <laughs> so with that you guys assume uh, presumably rest at the nearest inn or tavern in the morning after your rest Night Hill greets you with warm delight and respect he tells you that Leosin has left town for Elturel but before he did, he bought you all your own horse, riding gear, and a set of rations and food for each horse. 
the horses themselves are being kept at the dealer stables until you all are ready to leave. Greenest. Okay. Um, we've got these uh, items that were like sentimental or whatever to greenest. Should mm -hmm. we return? Assume he's asking Grunty and Valter. Valter would say yes to return them. Yeah, apparently I'm the only one playing. So yeah, we're going to return them to greenest. <laughs> So, as you give them to Night Hill and ask him to find their proper owner, the he says he gives you his thanks and uh, pays you about twenty five percent of their value, which is three hundred gold. And split evenly amongst us, that would be 50 gold per person. Uh, I, I, I will refuse to take the gold. So, 30 gold apiece now. Walter and Queequeg hop upon their horse. Blackhand, I, I assume you and Grunty. Nick stays back. Uh, for now, he'll still ride his horse along with you guys, but he's not going to be an active participant uh, for this evening. But, Grunty, huh? you try to hop on Blackhand's shoulder. Whether or not he lets you is up to him. Yeah, that's fine. Much bigger and much more muscular than Nick was. Uh, you almost fit into just the, the alcove of his shoulder bone. Whereas Nick, you were kind of almost on his entire shoulder. With black hand, you're just uh, more of a mole or a large or a tumor on his shoulder. <laughs> but regardless, you know that Leosin was headed to El Terrell. And as you see on the map here, if you go all the way down south, you should be able to see Greenest and El Terrell. The road leads east and then north across the Chianthar River. On the first day, you're approached by a human-looking character wearing... Mostly black armor. And he seems to be on the same path that you guys are. And that's you, Ixon. All right. I'm going to uh, approach him today. Oh, my Sunny. Finally, you're here. You are not hard. You are not uh, hard people to track. I have been wondering through piles of shit being attacked by dragon cultists every week running away from ambush strikes but elite, finally you're, you're here to kill the dragons so am I and he like flex, like flashes his uh, like his cloak uh, in a uh, stylistic way oh <laughs> Yeah, okay, guy. Uh, yeah, we're, we're hunting down the cult. I suppose we'd run into some dragons at some point if you want Great, wanna... I'm in. Okay, well, <laughs> a new member has joined the party, everyone. Yes. Uh, I'll, I'll jump on his head. Hey, Nick and Walter hey. and Queequeg, isn't this great? Yeah, it's so awesome. I knew you guys would have... Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot him. Fuck you. I have not cleaned my hair in weeks. I think I've got spiders in it. Oh? And then it'll start, like, trying to find them. There is spiders in them. <laughs> you. 
it seems Black Hand, you would have you've traded the company of a uh, small black cobalt for a dirty vagabond. Excuse you, I am a noble man. I mean, that I seems am bad. just, I am just in a bad place right now. Seems okay? horribly unkempt for somebody claiming to be a noble. Hey, fuck you, voice in the sky. You don't know what I've been through. <laughs> and he's also apparently insane. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. okay, uh, just to test something, I'll look at Black Hand. Kinda do a little... Oh. And then I'll take my finger and I'm gonna touch Styx's cheek. <laughs> kind of very soft uh, skin. Like, a, obviously, a skincare routine is there. That's awesome, but will you please roll a con save for me? Uh, oh. well, let me check my con. Uh, what's the DC? What's the DC? Check. Uh, You're touching him with yeah, a... you make it. You're touching him with a stick? No, I touch him with my finger. Oh. I'm testing him, the new guy. Mm. Look, I really don't appreciate this. Uh, I can quite easily heal myself if that kills me, but I'd rather not. Very limited, you see. It just sort of tingles a bit. Hmm. So I hear you say you're a healer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, well. do you have anything fight. to drink on you? Says Queequeg. Oh, please, I wish. I really wish. This is nothing like the temple. No, no, you're going to learn this, but don't give the big guy anything to drink. Well, shouldn't I call him the little guy? Yeah, he's the little guy. You can follow. Hey, fuck you! But I pull out my great axe and I attack him. Do not slow us down. Man, I wish uh, I wish you guys all sound the same. This is weird. Wow, Pandrel's here. <laughs> Shut up. I am, Strad. I am Strad von Zarovic and I'm also in the party. I am Strad von Zarovic. Come on now. Come you on. are all going to die. <laughs> blah, blah. I escaped the Barovia. You did not think that you could defeat me so easily. You didn't. Read you the back died. of the book. Back... You did Ooh. die. <laughs> no. Read the back of the book, loser. I am still here. <laughs> oh, quick, like just in time for me to stop role playing you. Okay, cool. How do you want to play your voice? I really hate gnomes. <laughs> That's racist. So, um, to catch you up, Leosin, you guys went back to Greenest. Leosin left behind uh, horses, saddles, riding gear, and rations for each of you, enough to last the journey to El Terrell, where he expects you to meet him. You guys have made it about one day into your journey out of Greenest, where you met this character who claims to be a nobleman, and at the very mention of uh, fighting dragons, he was in. Ooh. Son of a bitch, uh, I'm in. Anything oh. to uh, not get attacked by more uh, creatures. So can we get uh, to El faster if we decide to ride our horses full out? Say again. If we decide to push our horses every day, can we get to El Terrell faster? Mm hmm. Black hand votes we do that. Pushing the horses? Yeah, like riding them hard all day long, very few bright. But that you ever play them. The Witcher? Just you... like never take your hand off sprint. It's you... like that. I don't kill the horses. At a normal pace, you can ride for about eight hours a day with taking normal breaks for food and stops and and then taking your long rest. <clears throat> I think I 
think. Yeah, I'm okay with that. The wires burning. Uh. I'm okay with it then. Around the third day, Elturel in the distance, probably about another day's journey, maybe three quarters of a day, you come upon a wagon with a broken wheel, two guards, a scout that you saw at the uh, raiders camp from the day before, and what appears to be a traveling merchant. The guards are just kind of meddling about not doing anything to fix the broken wheel. Hail there. Need a hand with your cock? Oh, yes. Please, please. We're, we're, we're trying to make it to, uh, to, to Baldur's Gate. Wait, wait a second, Blackhead. Whoa! No, they clearly need help. I'm just gonna go lift the cart. It's a cart. Oh. Uh. Which one was what? This one on the rock here. Alright, I'm gonna try and lift the cup. Alright. You do so quite easily. And then, I will need initiatives. As the merchant what? undoes, quote unquote, her cloak, and <gasps> reveals themselves to be part of the cult, in fact. <laughs> God! So, <laughs> you yeah, black hand. Don't they recognize my scimitar? You scimitar. Didn't, you didn't present it, you just went right up there and held up a cart, so you've got your hands full and with the cart. And also, I right love now. the word scimitar. <laughs> Alright, well, I that, please have a break. To get a cart yeeted at them. <laughs> Ooh! And have a fucking ambush! <laughs> Alrighty, first up will be the guard in front of Blackhand. Or so he calls himself. Who is going to jab at thee with his spear? 22 to hit. Yeah, that hits. For five piercing. After that, we'll go to Queequeg. Queequeg, who sees Blackhand get stabbed, flies into a furious rage <laughs> and charges. Does this guy look angry too? Is he? Oh, yeah. is he ever... Okay, then I'm can, angry. Can again. They're all in on the ruse. Can uh, I try to do something to represent the rage? What's that? What do you want to do? <laughs> Thank you. He's and Super Saiyan. And I <laughs> recklessly attack. By the way, has this been 24 hours? Like, we've had a long rest at this point? Yes. Okay, I just want to make sure because I, I need to remove that I have used my endurance thing. Cool. You're at day three okay. into your journey north to El Terrell. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Alright. Recklessly attack. 21 hits. Recklessly do damage. For 13, how do you want to do it? Uh, I just lop off his arm. Recklessly. Recklessly, I lop off his arm. And he, he grabs it and, and bends over and falls down. And it was his spear arm, his best spear arm, and blood's just pouring out. And, and then I look at her and I say, You're next! Falls over. I end my turn. Ooh, black hand. Alright, uh, Go, so... black yellow caps. I'm gonna try and just chuck the cart into this guy. Okay. <laughs> you, can, you can do it. You're able to. Ju you're you're already under it, and you're holding it up with both hands. So you're basically just kind of like flipping it over with kind of a little bit of a up upswing on it. 
How do I roll damage for throwing a card? It's roll, roll two d ten bludgeoning. Damn, that's lovely. It's almost like an inflict wound, but with worse. Sorry. So I dealt seven damage to that guy. As it you, it kind of fell through the cart window, but it was still enough to just break the other wheels, shatter the the cart window. And then after I have the cart free and out of my hands, I will pull out my spear and shield and then hit the guy in front of me with... No, I won't. Your cart did less damage on my axe. <laughs> <laughs> well, it kind of makes sense. You need a cart at somebody. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. <laughs> sure. What do you guys want to say? Grunty, on to you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. Oh, what? Uh, okay, so jump over there. Uh, take my little arrow, kind of rub it against my cheek, put it into the to the short bow, and boom! at this one. Ooh. Uh, that would be fifteen to hit. Fifteen will hit. All right. This much. Wow, that's the worst sneak attack I've ever rolled. Do you get sneak? No, sorry, my poison was uh thing. Gotcha. I I I I, I have advantage on a uh, uh, since I'm an assassin now. I I have advantage on attack rolls against any creature that, that hasn't taken a turn in the combat yet. Very nice. Wow, that's pretty good. Yep, and, and enough to wait, do. Wait, wait. So wait, hold on, hold on. And are they surprised? Uh, no. They, if okay. anything, they surprised Blackhand. All right. Cool. Uh, then yeah, I'm just gonna shoot that off. It's enough to do it. As the arrow plunges into their gut and starts just bubbling away. Is that it? Uh, after he sees this, uh, Grunty, I'll say, <laughs> and, and, uh -huh. and look up at the quick wait for approval. I nod. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Dragon Claw is going to run up at you, Black Hand, and hit you with the scimitar. He ain't. 15 to hit. And again. Nope. Very good. <laughs> Misses both times. <laughs> Eekson. Damn, Daniel. Eekson? Eekson? Alright, okay. You're no longer vinegar. I'm not. We'll move to here. You might want to turn on, not that it particularly matters that much, but you might want to turn on restrict movement and don't update on until drop. No, I don't have anything on here. It's fine. I'm going to look to the cult and say, okay, at least you're not ambushing me while I'm alone this time. And I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt on him. Well, there, there shouldn't have been any dynamic fighting on here. Go for it, though. Ding! Oh, it looks cool. I don't think that hits. No. Not a oh, but damage. if it does, the damage. I don't have infinite advantage anymore. <laughs> no, that's my turn. Yeah, Only a first level spell slot. Dumb, dumb, overpowered. Oh, yeah. On to the guard who will stab at thee with two hands, his spear, and miss. Quick, quick. Okay, so I have a question. I'm just trying to read my rage real quick. Um... <clears throat> on your turn, if you haven't attacked a hostile creature or taken damage, is is grappling an attack though still considered? It's you, it uses your action, but I don't think it's the attack action, so no. It counts as an attack. It does count as an attack. Uh, yeah. For example, if you have multi attack, you can grapple twice oh, or shove, wow. which is super fucking. I was cool. only wondering because oh, I figured yeah. grappling, if it if it oh, cool. my rage, then that was kind of a shitty situation. Um. Yeah, I want to come up then, and I want to try and grapple the one right here. Do it. 
which I have advantage on since I'm raging. Tackle I the fool. I'm strength. Yeah, so I'm gonna run up and tackle him. Uh, tackle the fool. What do I? It's your strength versus his strength or athletics. Or athletics, which my athletics is legit. No, your strength versus his oh. his athletics. Gotcha. Or or acrobatics, whichever right. he chooses. Ay ay ay. All right, you have advantage. You do have yes. advantage. But he's, rage. He's still oh, able to simple. resist. Son of a bitch. I have my turn. <laughs> Black hand. I only have plus four strength. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm gonna step here, and then attack this guy right in front. It rolled double for his dex and it shouldn't have, but it was he still would have rolled a 19. But anyway, go ahead. Black hand. Alright, yeah, first attack with the spear. 12 to hit, probably not. 12 does not hit. And then since that didn't hit, we're gonna try and knock him. 13? 13 does not hit. Damn it! Both misses. Yeah. And that'll That's end my turn. Grunty. Uh, jump to. Uh, here? Could I take... Well, yes, I have cunning action. I'll take the hide action mm -hmm. and go into this bush. Uh, do I make a stealth yep. uh, save? Yep. Uh, the 25. Yes, you are well concealed now. As you and jump into the bushes. Try... And then again, take the arrow, rub it on my cheek, and try to harm this guy as much as possible. That's a 17 to hit. 17 will hit. Okay, so... Again, only once. That's, so that's the magic uh, number. Three, seven plus the maximum damage here, which is 10. So 17 damage. That's enough to do it. Alright. As he falls to the ground, gurgling and puking up bile. Will. Nice. <laughs> Is that it for Grunty? Uh, he'll cackle. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and move to here. Queer. I don't carry a weapon there. So I'm not going to try and kill him that way. I'm going to walk up to him. Let me just make sure I can get this right. And inflate wounds. Nah, didn't stop that spell. Also, I'm pretty sure it's an action to coat the uh, arrows. Oh, for uh, the skin thing? I'm pretty sure it's an action to coat the arrows. Oh, I'll check. I'll just... I just checked it. <laughs> I will set this guy on fire. Ooh. With what? I will pull out my shield and Sunni's face. You can also apply this poison to any piercing weapon as part of an attack with that weapon. Connection. Where's that? It's it's not an action. It's with the attack action. Maybe I'm reading the wrong thing. All right, I'm going to cast Burning Hands. Ooh. Wow, that's a shitty spell. I don't I think it is. <laughs> I don't think it's a shitty spell at all. Although uh, free did... fire damage. Sunni declares this man must be on fire. Those flames erupt from your shield hands. He's going to make a stab at thee. Black hand is clearly too nimble to stab. And apparently, quick. so are you, Ixen. Quag. Kind of like cuts into my robes and like, please, I don't have I some few of these. Push Ixon out of the way and I charge at this guy again and try and tackle him. Dude, this isn't a mosh pit. 
<laughs> so it is at advantage. Uh huh. And you make it. All right. You knocked him prone. Yeah, I want. I want to try and I guess tack. Well, I mean, if you count it as prone, I wanted to try and you know tackle him. Yeah. So I'll I'll be on top of him, trying to restrain him. Ha. Rugtar, no. Ogar. I mean, that's that's basically the end of my turn. Black hand. So we have auto vantage on him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna pull out my pike. Cool, Ooh. cool, cool, <laughs> cool. Oh, come on, man. That <laughs> does not feel good. That what does not feel good. Oh. Uh, this card is super overpowered. Oh, you love to see it. And I, as, he, as he does, I look at him and say, next time it's gonna be on your head. I'm just gonna start <laughs> looting the cart because that guy can't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can we just try restraining him? Because I would like to keep him alive, honestly. Uh, yeah. Can we keep him? I really wish you'd have said that before I stabbed him with my pike there, but. That's can okay, we keep him? I, I've got an ability that I can use to uh, make sure he tells the truth. Okay, then I will use my. I do believe I have, yeah, silk rope. I'm gonna use my silk rope. Would it be silk rope to try and tie him up? Uh, you have you have hemp rope as part of adventure gear. Rope. Look, I have oh, some you... manacles from my time in the sewage oh, we... chair. Don't ask oh. about. You want them? Manacles, then. Yes. Um, Chris, are oh, we hand... out of combat? Not yet. Uh, it is I'm your handy. turn, Grunty. And then just just want to touch him. Just a little little unarmed strike, you know. Just a little hey. That's auto advantage, so 15 to hit. 15 doesn't hit. <laughs> so you miss just caressing him. You get his helmet instead. <laughs> and then Ix for the rest of my movement, I'm a, I'm a step. <laughs> Ixen, on to you. I want to use my experience in the Church of Sunni to try to restrain, to try and uh, put my manacles in this man. All right, give me a strength check versus his uh, athletics at disadvantage or strength. Come on, Ixen, you're a strong fella. You're. I'm really not. Oh, <laughs> oh you really mind. aren't. There you go. You see, you're very you strong. Learn these, you so learn these types of things in the he's, church. Even though he's fighting as best he can, Queequeg is basically kneeling on both of his shoulders, and he's having a tough time of getting about at all. And Grunty's on his face. Well, he seemed to dodge that pike pretty <laughs> easily. <laughs> So just like cops. Stop resisting arrest. And if they'll give me just a moment to use the bathroom, please. Okay. No. It would be just like cops, except most of us aren't white and human. I'm white and human. I'm like the cop from like that Will Smith movie. So you guys are the cop. I'm white. I'm I'm pretty white and pretty human. Was that movie enchanted or something? When he hey, finds a wild person, I'm a Goliath. I think we're totally. Excuse not. me, are you assuming my gender? No, I'm assuming your race. <laughs> the most oh, of all oh, so assuming, are we? Yep. Yeah, you can't do I'll that. I'll have anymore. you know that I identify as a ghost pirate banana dolphin race cop papercraft Pringle. How much does your character weigh? <laughs> How much does my character weigh? Yeah. Just enough to break the ice. Okay, but give me a real number, because i got to do the math <laughs> on how far I can throw your character. Oh, um, probably very much so. I am, <laughs> you know, around, like, less than 10 pounds, probably. Oh, if you're less than 10 pounds, picking you up isn't even... Nah, I don't even feel that. Sorry about that. He might not weigh enough to be able to throw far, though. No, that's the thing. He's like a paper airplane. He doesn't oh. have enough mass, actually, to go for. Would you... I, uh... We're All talking right. about throwing Grunty. Welcome back. Yeah. Yeet talk with Black Hand. Well, hmm. you know... Welcome back, DM. Go far. What would you guys like to do with your prisoner? You see, 
What's that? Person I, that I that person up against the cart. Now I now I want to I want to touch his cheek again. <laughs> well, Ixon, what were you doing? I just slapped my manacles on him, mm -hmm. and I'm going to say, you see, uh, it's a lot harder to defend yourself against ambushes when you don't have five other people with you, um, or four in this case, I guess. Three. Anyway, I have a spell. Three. I'm sorry. I <laughs> took quite a few head blows on the way over here. Forests, <laughs> you know? I have a spell that will make this man tell the truth. Spell? I'm not Who's saying like anything to you. Oh, Who could so. make him tell the truth? You see, torture is an ineffective way to get information. Um, I like fingers, though. Yeah, we beg to differ. When, when he says that, I, I rub my... My uh, palm on his face, on uh, the, the cultist's face. I thought you'd let me use my magic, and then if not, you can bite off this man's fingers. Go on, Ink, and then use your. Yeah, magic. he's poisoned, baby! Okay, that's. I think that might give him disadvantage on this check. That gives him disadvantage on checks and saves, I believe. Um, and saves? Fuck yes. Thank you. I don't know. No, I'm not 100% sure. All right, uh, I, I've actually got a condition track in oh. conditions that I gave to... On Andrew. attack rolls okay. and ability checks. Ah, uh, never mind then. Yep. Yeah. Still right, torturing the results. guard, I'm going to try and loot whatever's in the... I'm not torturing him. In the cart, it is empty, save for a few bits of food. But, <laughs> on the dragon claw, you do find a note. Seems that this whole cart was a diversion. We quite can't read. Someone read it to me. <coughs> Dragon Wing Lemuria Iron Cloak. I fear our operation may have been compromised with the escape of the monk, Erlandbar. Thus, we begin the second phase. Our collected horde will be split among a number of caravans, each sent on a different route to the city of Baldur's Gate. Once there, sell your wagons and supplies, secure your part of the horde, and seek our agent, Aravax Fox Traveler, who will guide, give you further information. The Queen of the Dragons will rise again. Worm Speaker Rezmir. That's me. Oh, oh, that would have been so much easier to read from the bottom. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been. Rice me. I I missed something. <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, you mi oh, you missed all thing. Okay. <laughs> you missed all everything. So wait, wait, that note though says that there's going to be part of the horde in every caravan. Mm -hmm. Did they already sell the horde then? Is that what we're I'm not asking you, I'm talking basically. Um, no, it doesn't seem like it. It seems like they're going to sell it in Baldur's Gates. So we should we should check this entire caravan. Tear it apart. Well, here's my idea. How wrecked is the caravan that I yeeted? Uh, the one wheel was already broken. When you flipped it over, it broke the other two wheels on the left side. So it's got one usable wheel and a the left side uh, door windows are pretty busted up as well. Yeah, sounds pretty yoted to me. Is there anything inside of the wheels? Are they, they hiding it like smugglers? No, they're pretty thin wood. How do I know? It's broken in front of you in splinters. What about the last wheel? It's not broken. I want to try something. Go ahead. I'm going to get off of the cultist. Mm -hmm. And I'm going I'm to lick the wood a little bit. <laughs> uh, it, well... ta it tastes like oak. Uh, it kind of hmm. smokes a little bit as you like it. I'll look back, turn around and look back at the cultist. And I'll I'll kind of start screaming at him. I I like I like the spirit. Uh, Ixon, do what you want with him. Figure it out. All right. I will try my hardest. I will pick Figure up the cultist. Mm -hmm. But I'll drag him, so I'm not very strong. I'll drag him and if I you want. Put him. If you could hold him, that would really help me. I will. You see, my I, I am a uh, priest. Not that much of a warrior. 
I can well, tell you don't use weapons. Well, I wear armor. My entire family is trained knights, but never, never was much my thing. I'm going to put him inside the middle of that 15 foot cube. I know it's a radius, not a cube. Hold on. Put him about here. And I'm going to cast. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to cast a spell called Zone of Truth. Well, that's all true. What are you asking so, him? I'm going to ask him. Well, first he needs to make a save, and I know if he fails, or if he passes, <clears throat> that will meet my DC. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Wait, doesn't he have disadvantage though? Yes, he does. He does. He's poisoned. He is poisoned. Very well. <clears throat> you up with the cult of the dragon? I was hired by them. Where is Resmir? By now, Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Answer the frog's question. What? I, I, I don't speak frog. And, 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 and I point the short bow at him with, a, with an array. I, oh. I, I don't speak frog. I don't speak frog. You need to roll a code for, for saving frog. <laughs> yeah, you entered the zone of truth. You can only speak. Oh no, I'm going to lie. <laughs> Never mind, you pass it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I'll, speak for frog. I'll, 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 I'll go back and 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 look up at Queequeg. Uh, I'll say what's what? Uh, I, what? What's <laughs> what? You want me to bite his finger off? Hold on. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, what is your name? <clears throat> My name is Henrik Vandervoot. <laughs> Van Damper. Huh. You are for a nobility in Baldur's Gate, then. Second cousin, twice removed. They only carry them in name. They've disowned me. That's why I've turned to the cult. Huh. Hmm. How much wealth does the Horde have right now? And he kind of smiles as he's writhing. <laughs> More than just this wagon. You're right. So, where is the cult's main base of operations? They wouldn't tell me. They sent me here to pick up any stragglers from Greenest. What do you intend to do if you were let go? Meet back up with Resmir at Baldur's Gate. Hopefully she hasn't left yet. Hmm. Anyone else got any questions? Yes. I'll give, it, I'll give him a mean stare. Aravax <laughs> Fox Traveler, where is he? Where are you supposed to seek him out? He's in Baldur's Gate. Where? In Baldur's Gate. Black Gate. Mm, how curse you, you. How are you supposed to let him know that you are part of the cult? And he pulls up part of his, his clothing to reveal the scabbard. The same scabbard that you all bear. Thank you. Fuck you! Now let me go! Fuck you! 
He's sitting upright at this point, <laughs> but his hands are still bound by the manacles. He's just kind of wiggling about. <clears throat> Let me go! Tell you what. Yeah, you... Uh, quick pick. I don't mean to presume upon you, but you like a game of sports, no? No, 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 no! Listen, listen, I'm, I'm a guard for hire! I don't give a shit about the cult! Just so much. let me go. But you said you intended to meet up with Redsmith. Ah, no, that was that was that one in the armor. They had just hired me on. You could find work too in Baldur's Gate if you want. There's a whole caravan going north. Well, he's not lying. He might be being dishonest. I'll kind of punch my palm and squeeze it. Looking at him menacingly. Come on. I just need some honest work. Just like the rest of you. That's not honest work. I, they hired me on to play the damsel in distress. What do you want me to do? It was an easy job. An easy job aiding those who want to destroy our world. Who doesn't want to destroy our world? Who doesn't want to destroy my 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 farm, my village? Everyone's out to destroy. I, I am not out to destroy, except for the dragons. And he kind of laughs. <laughs> oh, bub. You're in for a rough fight, let me tell you. From what I've seen... They've got more numbers than you. I turn to Exon Dragon's Bane. I don't know you, but is he evil? Hmm. I'll be honest with you. I'm not the best for philosophy, and I, uh, to be honest, got into my priesthood by drinking. But if he is being genuine and he has no intention to go back uh, and he's going to go get a job that doesn't involve destroying the world, I'm quite happy to let him go. To my head. Tell you what, you can have my spear, let me keep my armor, you have my corn pur purse, there's ten gold in there, take the scabbard too and toss it on the ground. I'll find honest work as a guard elsewhere. Anybody who mentions anything about the cult, I'll walk away. I don't trust him. He can't lie. He can be dishonest. But it doesn't mean he can't be persuaded. Do you think you could be happy <clears throat> easily persuaded to go back to this life? How about this? If you promise not to return to working for the Dragon Cult, I won't hunt you down and hang your head in town. Yeah, 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 yeah. You and every other mom and pop wants the cult dead. Like I said, I'm just the muscle. I'm the I'm the fall. Why don't we just kill him now? Save ourselves some time. <clears throat> Killing without reason to is... That's a little bit evil. He was in the cult, cult's evil, let's kill him. I can't. Uh, that is I... pretty persuading, not going to lie. I'm not going to stop you from killing him, but my vote is on. Nah, just releasing him. The cultists have done awful things. Well, mates, we got five of us here. Let's come to that their uh, democratic solution. I like that. I vote to release him. Quick quag. Quiggity quag. I'm thinking Blackhand. If he... <sighs> He's in the zone of truth, I will leave him. Uh, Frog, uh, jump once if you think we should let him go. 
Uh, jump twice if you think we should. Wait, do you, do you understand us? Whoa! And I nod. Okay. Jump once if we should release him. Jump twice if we should. Fucking murder him. Grunty will jump the whole 15 feet up. Hey, where did you go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> so just one jump. Once. Just once. Really? Sounds high. like we've got three. Yeah, I agree. Not to kill him. But if we run into you again and you have so much as a dragon scale on your armor, I will murder you. Yeah. Alright. You have me word? You won't see me again. Yeah, because if we do, I will pick up the nearest cart and throw it at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how do you That's what you mean. I've seen you do it to me, bud, there. Yeah. Good guy you killed. Just saying. Don't give a shit, mate. If you don't start running right now, I will yeet this wagon wheel at you. All right, all right, all right, all right. And he gets up and starts running north. Same direction you guys would, would be heading. Cool, I don't want to run into him again, or I'm going <laughs> to yeet the wagon wheel at him. See, would you say that's more no, wait, or less wait, wait, effective? Wait. We were letting him walk away right now. Yes, there was a vote. But we have horses, so we're going to pass him on the road. Yes. Which means uh, very I'm quickly. Throw my wagon wheel at. Uh, once you get on your horses and pack up all your gear, he's just a few ten, you know, like 30, 40 feet ahead of you. He's not run that far. You get on your horse and. Within just a few moments, you catch up to him. And he's panting and out of breath. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. I'm going to El Terrell. Oh. You get a pass. No. I know what happens at El Terrell. <laughs> I don't. Goes to hell. <laughs> In the future, <laughs> this is before Descent into Avernus took place. El Terrell is still a standing bastion. Wait, is that is that Vash's father? Better kill him. <laughs> <laughs> El Terrell is gonna, still standing in this campaign. I'm gonna I'm also gonna take my gloves and kind of like rub the outside of my helmet where my eyes would be. I'm gonna be like, wait a second, who is this guy? And where is our kobold friend? I'm assuming that's at you, Ixen. Yeah, Ixen. Oh, uh, Ixen Dragonsbane. I, I'm a noble, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, I must have snapped out of it. I've been doing that quite often. When did you come along? Oh, I've been here for months. Jeez, I gotta no. stop drinking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have the same intentions. Uh, pleasure to meet you. A I like offer to like, my too. hand. With like a ripped glove. I, I'm going to take your hand and shake it. To kind of be like a little... little like, no okay. virus. Alright then. <laughs> what about the plague? <laughs> I blame hey, the dragon plague. cultists for the plague. Yes. What, what happened to our kobold friend? Where did he go? <clears throat> what's up with this frog guy? I'm not going to you. The, the kobolds. After we had killed the uh, cult person, decided that he was done. Mandoth. This Grunty here, he has helped us a few times. Well, hi. I don't know Grunty. why he travels with us, but just don't touch him. I didn't plan it. And this other guy, well, he's some religious fella. When, uh, when, when Queequeg says, "Don't touch him." Uh, I'll jump over to, uh, Volter. Mm hmm And kind of signal him to, to give me a, a strong pat on the back. Oh. I, I mean, I was just told not to. I'll, 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 I'll do this, this, like, I'll try to signal a glove to you. I will, 
I will give a a, a soft one hat. Oh, <laughs> and he's like telling you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that clears up everything I was confused about. Let's carry on, fellows. The only wait. Other... Do you do you do it harder? No, I do it once. You're a weird frog person. I'm not. <laughs> <sure about it. laughs> the only other thing you missed, Walter, was that when you got back at Greenest, uh, Leosin, the monk that you rescued at the camp, uh, gave you uh, left you all. Horses, a horse for each one of you, riding bags, rations, and saddles for each. It's a, it's a long journey to El Terrell, but that's where you were told to meet him next. Right, yes. I remember that. Onward we go to kill dragon. Dragon-worshipping people. <laughs> and since you guys made haste, you were able to cut the time down by two days. And by the fourth day... You make it to El Terrell, a large, orderly city overlooking the river Chantar. It's filled with merchants, river traders, and farmers markets. Its most distinguishing feature is a brilliant, magical light that hovers above it, illuminating it day and night. You would be arriving... Uh, I you would be arriving from the Eastern Gate. Are you able to see the uh, the river Chantar? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. The city itself is bustling. El Terrell is a pretty well-off town. As you arrive at the gates, nobody really takes any notice of you. They just continue about their day. I'll jump on on the black hand's uh, shoulder. So we we'll continue through the town, uh, or we're in the town right now, correct? And we're. Mm -hmm. We've entered it. Uh, were there guards at the gate? Uh, there were, but none questioned you. Okay, I'd like to, I guess, go back to the guards for the moment. Mm -hmm. And ask them where, what was it, Black? Or, what was the name of the, the, Fox? Fox oh, Traveler? He's in Blackgate, which is in Baldur's Gate, which is Correct. not where we're at. Oh, oh, I thought you meant a location here. Okay, okay. Pay attention, Yams. Okay, so then I asked I Ice Guard. Yeah, I was trying to. Matter of pride. You there. Where is the nearest inn? Uh, depends what you're looking for, friend. Well, it depends on what you've got. Well, if you need a place to stay... There's the uh, blood on the vine to the south. If uh, you're looking for work, you could try the pair of black antlers. Anthar Froom is said to be there. Anthar Froom? Anthar Froom, yes. Who's that? Oh, where, that... Would, where would your sailors go? Oh, most sailors would probably head, head to the south. Uh, take the river Chantar straight to Baldur's Gate. But, but I mean, what inn would they go to? Oh, really, it all depends. Uh, we, we see a lot of people here through El Terrell, and really, it's mostly just merchants and purveyors of goods, but occasionally we'll get, we'll get the, the mercenary or those looking for adventure, and they always go to the pair of black antlers. And that is on the south end? That's on the uh, north end of town, sir. North end, okay. Alright. Can you can you direct me? Which which way should I head then to get there? Which, yes, which yes. Street? You just uh, 
head west straight through here, hang a right when you see the tall building, and then it's tucked away in that little subset over there. Oh, thank you. And I head uh, there. The rest of you follow? Oh, shit. Yep. Uh, Chris. Hmm. Uh, I'll talk to you later about it, but I do need to give... Because I, I wasn't here for the greenness part. I was going to give away all that stuff to the guy in greenness. Oh. We did so, that. Yep, Blackhand oh, actually okay. got you covered. You got paid out 25% of the actual value of everything. And it oh. was it was worth 300 gold after that. I don't accept the gold for it. Uh, the governor paid you out, not the people who owned the goods. The governor paid okay. you from the treasury of the town. And he saw All to right. it that they'll be returned to their proper owners. All right. Okay. Uh, guys, let's head to the inn on the north end. Maybe we can find out some information here, and then we head on to Boulder's Gate afterwards. I'm not opposed to it. Mm. I've never been to the city before. So I figure we must rest up here. We can restock on our goods. I'm very low on rations at the moment. No, you're not. Nope. Leosin gave you all enough rations to last the journey to El Terrell, along with rations to cover for your horse. You don't have the rations I want, though. <laughs> Human fingers. And before you is the pair of Black Antlers Tavern. Where inside nope. you can hear hearty cheers. Oops. We're inside the cave again. <laughs> Missed it. Hey, these are barbarians. Yeah. Can I enter? And you enter. Let me in! Let me in! And here <sighs> you see... A burly gentleman uh, one that's dressed in mighty armor emblazoned with a silver hand on the belly and, a blue, and a blue tabard uh, what's, ping the, it, ping it again? what's the ambiance of this room? everyone seems to be lively in here some are having a drinking contest some are arm wrestling the gentleman in the middle is telling stories of days of yore of who? Mine? No, days of yore. Your what? I feel like you're <laughs> ending the sentence too early. Y O R E. <laughs> <laughs> spa day? Are we having a spa day? <laughs> spa day? You mean spaghetti? But it's just spaghetti policy here. But yes, everyone seems to be in good spirits here. I uh, approach this fellow with the fruity looking clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me send you that again. Does that look fruity to you? Floofy looking, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, hello. Oi! Antar Fruity? Is that your name? Froom! Antar Froom! Froom. What have ah, you yes. been drinking, my friend? Uh, not, not enough, I guess. <laughs> yes, I saw you've got no flag of mead. Yeah, no, I... I Barkeep, I one for him and all his friends. Please, please. No, I, I, I cannot. Come you. on! And he shoves, shoves his uh, flag in, in, into your, into your chest. Drink, drink, share your stories. We've not seen you here in Elterel before. I must keep my wits about me right now. <laughs> I've not seen you either. Friend, you're amongst friends. Please, please join. Have fun. I look back at Black Hand. Tell me, not everybody become comes to the pair of black antlers without a purpose. Why are you here to see Antar? Well, I'm not here to see you. I was looking for <laughs> some work. <laughs> some work? Oh, I hear there's some bandits raiding the, the sheep's farm down the road. <laughs> he shares in a laugh with all the guards. <laughs> he clearly doesn't think anything of your prowess or muscles. Huh. Oh, a sheep farm, you say? 
<laughs> yes, I, I hear the kobolds are pretty dangerous. <laughs> Is that where you got that scratch on your eye then? Uh, no, no, I got to scratch in the battle on the Pale of Dead Mirror. And he grows serious for a moment. Lost a lot of friends there. How heavy is this guy? Uh, medium build. A little bit stockier than most people his size. Probably 250, 275. Pick him up. How about we act like human beings? I pick him up. <laughs> I am terribly sorry. Why do you... Why do you... What do you think you're doing? Please forgive them. I believe my friend said we were looking for work. Put me down! At once! And all of the guards set down their flagons and begin drawing their spears. The two engulfed in the arm wrestle over here stand up and pull up their great axes while the other two also slam down their flagons and pull up their great axes. I take out <laughs> my great axe and I say, Anthar! You not be wanting a fight battle. here. I'll give you a battle then. I'm gonna try and tone down everything that's going on. We're like trying to like hold up my hand and be like, "Hey, stop, stop, stop!" And then it, it, is Black Hand still holding him? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put him down now. Okay. You put him down. I look and go, "Ah, oh, uh, what is that uh, hand on your belly there?" And I, I tap his belly. Is that where <laughs> I'm supposed to rub it? Good luck. This I'm looking a little thick there, Anthar. This is from my guild. Faith, vigilance, the constant struggle against threats of evil. You do not have what it takes to be a member of the Order of the Gauntlet. No, you're right. I don't think I have a gut like yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you don't drink enough. Now then, if you are done fondling me, why have you come? How many times does a motherfucker have to say four words? We have no work for you. Do you know anything about dragons? <clears throat> I we know somebody that does. We're, we're looking to stop some dragons. Do you know where dragons are? I apologize, mm. my friends. They're a bit, uh, I, I pat, try and pat Quico on the uh, shoulder, but probably can't reach him. It's like, they're a bit excitable. A bit excitable? I'm not like a... I'm not yeah. like this beard splitter here. Of course, <laughs> no, no, you're not, Quico. Okay, but, but where is this guy? Can you, can you show us to him? Yeah, tell you what. You, you best lie, and you best last valero. One of you, drinking contest, one of you, arm wrestling. Then we will tell you all we need to know. I could really use a drink. And you see one of the berserkers from each table stand up. But let him drink, I... Not, not my type of place to drink. This is the drinking table, and this is the arm wrestling table. I'm going to go to the arm wrestling table. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you see this burly man wearing similarly plated armor with a similar emblazoned symbol. And he clangs down his elbow and holds up a, a open palm to you. And he smiles a little bit, his hair on his arm, it's black and burly, his muscles are pulsing. I will I will climb up to, onto the table. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And kind of <clears throat> spit on my hand. And he looks back at Antar. Antar just kind of shrugs. <laughs> He's a frog! What do you expect? And he kind of shrugs it off. And... I will put my hand 
Just gotta like smack his his palm and grab it as hard as I can. And I will need a strength check. First, he'll make his con save. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> he almost throws you over the table as you just barely are able to get a couple uh, of your pads on the table and holding on. You're you're just dangling over the ledge of the table as the crowd around you erupts in laughter. <laughs> oh, and who will best less fail row at the drinking contest then? I will. <laughs> all right, oh, all right. Let's see it then. That's the arm wrestling. I sit table. down and I set my. Oh wait, no, no, I'm not drinking. I was gonna do arm. I wanted to I'm not no. poison. Like, <laughs> You've already or... sat down, and oh. the barkeep comes by and sets down two large flagons of ale in front of you both. Go! Creek. Oh. And he begin the guy in front of you begins slamming down his beer. All right, I drink mine. All right, barkeep comes, and you guys are neck for neck. Barkeep comes down, lays another two down, and he grabs it up and begins drinking. I take the one and just chug it down, hmm. and then I go for the next one. Hmm. I'm doing what I can to keep up. All right, and you are. You're keeping pace as she brings out a third round, a fourth round, and by the fifth round... I'll need a con save. Wow. <laughs> Do I get advantage? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> As by, the you six, this? by the sixth round, you're both kind of teetering about the table, and he, with, with all of his body weight, tips the flagon back, and you match him. But you kind of just start tipping over and fall back in your chair as he slams the ale down on the table and goes Bruh! and everyone begins cheering around him as you fall down onto the floor and he crashes his head onto the table. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. And Anthar says oh. <laughs> Alright. Alright. You not to be members of the cult after all then. <laughs> Hey, Leo, got some people here for you. And it's there where we'll take our first break. It is 7.35, just about, p.m. Let's come back in seven minutes. Enough time to brew some tea, go so to the bathroom. 7.42. Correct, 7.42, seven minutes from now, we will come back. All right, can you ping me when that's happening? Because I want to go bother someone. Yep, I'll let you up on Discord. I wanted to poison him, and then... I thought it would work. I thought maybe if I couldn't beat him in the... <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. And it almost... So, technically, I didn't lose the drinking contest. He lost his, too. Well, we both, I think, lost. However, it doesn't matter because they just wanted to make sure that we weren't members of the cult. Yeah. At I least think, that's my understanding of it. I think I want to kill Othar. You want to kill Othar? I want to kill him, though. Yeah, I don't like him. Othar. I don't appreciate his demeanor. Who? Anthar. I want him dead. <laughs> the dwarf? Yeah. <laughs> I can okay. arrange that. I can arrange Killing that. everyone here is kind of a bad idea. <laughs> no, I'm just sense. saying, I can arrange a single Yeah, yeah no, no, no. We're not going to kill him right now. I am an assassin uh, rogue. Guy. What the fuck? We... He insulted me. What do you expect? Kinda did. Kinda did insult him. And you know, by my calculation, uh, insulting someone 
does not equal respecting them. No, exactly. I challenge him to a Makara. Why are you so World of Warcrafty? You remember what happened to the <laughs> last fucking guy you challenged to a Makara? Uh, we killed him after the second combat. So what you're saying is we're going to chase this guy to his dragon hatch. We're gonna, we're going to lose to a, a battle against Anthar, and then we're going to see him the next time. I'm going to kill him and eat his heart. I'll be right back. Uh, something to Thebes, I guess. I'm going to eat his heart. It's cool. I didn't want to join his fucking guild anyways. It's stupid. Poker ball. I knew it. I knew this was familiar. I'm more a fan of the Undercity ambience, as I I'm love sure you know. I love it as well. It's All right, just, Chris. I, I remember sitting there and just being at peace. Uh, Chris. Chris. All right, play the next song. We're starting a tavern brawl. Chris? <laughs> He's gone again. Mm. I might need a bit more time for the break. 
my kitty's been up to no good. He brought in a mouse into the house. All right, who do we have back? Uh, Chris. I'm here. Chris. Chris. So we only have two people back? Chris, can you hear me? I can. Uh, I might need a bit longer of a break. My kitties... My, my cat has brought in a mouse to the house. Oh no. I have to, you know, handle this. Be careful, that's, that's plague worthy. Or should I say had? Handle it, handle it, and now I just. So who? Should bleach your cat. Who is back? I'm here. I can. And black hand. Yes, I'm not 100 back. I'm still outside. Yeah. Summon a lion. Should have brought a ding ding. All right. So Chris. Hmm. He lost two. So that guy's a pussy at drinking. Just as me. Yeah, but a little bit less of a pussy as you. A little bit by like a uh, one roll. <laughs> It's cool. I didn't want to join Anthar's guild anyways. I just didn't like him insulting me, but we're going to kill him later, so. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh. Kind of don't want to kill him later. He seems pretty solid. I don't know what God will say about that. What, your God? Uh. Is that what you just said? Yeah, I don't know what my God would say about that. That's fine. I don't care what your God thinks. You understand that it's hard to kill people. Oh, and it's not, not it's pretty easy. You just chop their head off. They can speak with the dead. They can reanimate him. It belongs to a guild. A very shitty guild. Ooh, reanimating the dead is not cool, guys. That's that happens so all the time. Cool, it should not. Well, I, I'm going to be able to, like, if you die, I'm going to be able to bring you back with a spell called Revivify. Like, Reviv yeah, at a later point. Should, should I not revive you in that case? There's a difference I mean, between... There's a difference between reviving somebody and raising them from the dead. Exactly. That's the difference. Well, yeah, they, they're gonna cast, like, Revivify on him, or... Raise dead. They're not gonna turn him into an undead. And then he'll be after us. That's just the world we live in. So are we ready, or are you still chasing down Mouse Cat? Backpack what? Mouse Cat. I miss Cecil. Hmm. Yeah, I think we should uh, get evidence to, you know, get, confirm this crime scene. Detective yeah. Cecil oh. is on it. Detective Cecil is on the case. <laughs> There's a body here. That means someone, but someone probably died. <laughs> There's the stab. Thank you. It might be. There's a knife on the floor. Maybe that was used to kill someone. Are you, are you back, Grunty? Hold on. Just Oop. a... Just a sec. Oh, excuse me. And he's gone. Yes, I am. Here we go. So with Antar calling for... Leosin. A moment later, the door opens, and out walks Leosin Erlanther. 
<laughs> My friends, you have made it. Listen. Yes, yes. We have... Yeah, I stumble onto the floor again. <laughs> oh, Antar. When will you learn not everyone can drink with your crowd? Uh, barkeep, one, another round for all of my friends. And sure enough, the barkeep comes around. I crawl back up onto the table and I look at the, the other guy and say, I, he, he lost. He's to, asleep. Uh, he, he lost. He's snoring. Cup in hand still. Head <laughs> in his elbow, just pass out over the, the tabletop. Barkeep Hello. comes around and hands you all your glasses. Ah, I must thank you for your uh, for your help. And he gives you a wink. W where was your little one? He got scared. Ran away. <laughs> oh. He's a little bitch. Yes, I, I'm afraid this war is not for everybody. I must admit, your plan was a bit more clever than mine. Come, come join me by the fire. Grunty will... Uh, come over here. And very, very profoundly... Signal on his back... For somebody... Please, just somebody... Uh to to like pat him strongly on the back <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna do it you're the monk I had either. I, mu I must admit I'm I'm glad you guys have survived this far tonight this evening your main objective is to impress Anthar it is in your best long-term interest. I think my friends might have a problem with that. And he, and he looks back at Uix and then back over at Anthar, who's just continuing to tell stories and drink more with his friends. Who, who, who would have a problem with him? Point. Ah. <sighs> The point. I don't have any problems with him. I just picked him up because he was being rude. Oh, that is just his way. Indulge him. Win him over. Join in his games. I have a bit Why more. <laughs> because his order, along with mine, are aligning. We will tell you more this evening. <coughs> I must continue my rest. The Harpers and the Fisters? Indeed. And there are others. For now, indulge him in his games. I'll see you this evening. Okay. And he walks out. And... Okay. Sorry, go ahead. Maybe we could try being a bit more charming. <laughs> What is it? Uh, maybe we could try being more charming. Hmm. I'll once again stay dead in the eye, point my back, and say, "Pop!" <laughs> I tap you with my shield. <laughs> when you do, a Big ball of mucus just shoots out of Grunty's uh, <laughs> uh, mouth. Mm. And then he kind of just... <clears throat> oh, finally! You can speak? Of course I can speak! <laughs> this is pretty weird. Huh. I... I feel... Just to be as honest, uncomfortable as you do. Did not think your race could uh, biologically speak, but I'm glad to hear you can. We are very so, intelligent. 
time really? show. How intelligent are you? Mm. Like on a scale of one to twenty, how intelligent are you? <laughs> I show I show him with my I I, I do a like a little intelligent. Oh, you broke up a lot there. Oh, uh, I, I I said I'm going to spread my arms apart and say this this intelligent. Yep, that that's, sounds about right. It's, that's a lot of intelligence. So then, which one of these assholes wanted to arm wrestle? Oh, <laughs> oh no! No, I'm afraid. I'm afraid we've got much more fun games this evening planned. Uh, all, all the time. You, you will let him wrestle. Aye, indeed. What do you say to a 2v2 sparring match, a round of horseback riding, and a stitch-off with the clerics? Uh, stitch-off. Stitch up. Yes, who who can re repair the uh, the rip dolls the quickest and most accurate? Not Walter. <laughs> I could play that game. All right then. And he whistles over a few of the uh, clerics who are wearing holy symbols and motions one of them to sit down and motions you to sit at the other table <whistles> and another guard puts down two very raggedy dolls in front of both of you and I Who's will sewing? Uh, this is uh, Ixen versus one of the guards okay easy I've got this and I will need a medicine check from you both. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to slap myself. Like, sorry. I'm half asleep. Um, <laughs> Whatever you need to do. Get him. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> and... As the guard fumbles around with the needle and is getting the leg re reattached, you're already just perfecting the seams and putting the finishing touches on the bandages along the Taking doll. Taking care of and wounds is my... They, they all look around in astonishment. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never have I seen such... Dexterity, such marksmanship. You learn these things in the church. But Round one the goes to the outsiders. So then, who's my partner in the fight? I will. Very well. Please don't kill me. Outdoors then? Yes, please. Please don't kill him. Listen, you need to worry about him being killed first. And the two that were arm wrestling previously stand up and walk outside with you guys. We and... shake their hands <clears throat> as we pass by. And you hear Anthar from the inside call, Taking wagers! Who wants bets? Ten gold max! No, so I know. What are the rules here? Anything goes. Uh, no killing. No weapons. Yes. No killing. Obviously. Yes, we can use weapons. Okay. And uh, he pulls down some of his armor and shows a nasty scar. This is from the last group of outsiders. And Keep... I lift up my shirt and show my scar. Ooh. This was from a dragon. Hi. Mm. So you've had your own run-ins, have you? Enough talking. 
Hi, this is just a friendly spawn match. Keep our wits about us. Yeah? I, I, I'm I jumping over on Nixon's shoulder and kind of whispering in his ear. Do you think they can do it? Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. And Blackhand heals six healing. <laughs> <laughs> Blackhand should be good by now, right? We had a couple days of traveling still to get here, correct? I've got a long rest. That yeah, my... Black, Black Hand would have been fully healed by now. I don't mind then. It's like, ah, sorry. Got a cough, you know. And quick way to Black Hand, yeah. Go ahead. Oh. Let's go. I was selected. It set it in there for a second. What the fuck? It's the bourgeoisie. I can add you in for 18. Please do. Black end, you're up first. Setting them up to knock them down, boy. I think we have to each attack one of them, correct? No. We don't have to. It's a two on two. We yep. can All right. focus one. All right. Yep. So, uh, first thing, I'm going to try and knock him down. 11. Damn it. <laughs> wow. You do. You hit him in the back of the head. Holy shit. So he becomes prone. And then I'm going to attack him with my spear. Twenty-four to hit. Well hit. <clears throat> it takes eight piercing damage, and that will complete my turn. All right, quick wag, on to you. As it gets to my turn, I kind of grab my great axe and I shake away the drunken stupor, and I fly into a rage. <laughs> and I run up and I attack him, not recklessly. Ooh. When you're not drunk, you don't attack recklessly. Uh, well, he's on the he's on the ground prone. Fourteen will hit. So since he's prone, I'm not going to do it. Twelve slashing. Mm -mm -mm. And I'll end my turn. On to him. And as I attack him, though, a bunch of spirits emerge and surround him, or kind of like tugging and pulling in on him. He will use his movement to stand up and swing at you, Queequeg. Recklessly. That hits. For ten slashing as it cuts Five. you across the chest. Five. Thank you, you're raging. Yes, I am. The other will join him, although not quite as reckless. Seventeen to hit. That hits. For six slashing, as it mirrors the slice across your chest. Okay. Black hand, on to you. Damn. Woohoo! 22 to knock him down. 22. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll do it. Yeah. Ooh, yes. Nice. And I'm going to stick him with the pointy end. 24. Okay. We'll hit. 10 piercing damage. Ends my turn. All right. Quick leg. On to you. <laughs> 25 will hit. So close to a fucking 20. Damn it. 14. And uh, he's starting to uh, he, he's starting to be pretty bloody from all okay. this. He's got quite a few slashes from it. But once again, he will stand and make his attack. Um, 
excuse me, at you, Queequeg. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> For 13 12 damage. damage. 13. It's 26. 13? Yep. Okay. As it just goes Woo! deep into your side, it connects into you and he laughs. <laughs>, laughs. Keeping your wits about you, I. And the next one, well, thinking his partner has got the swing around at you, Black Hand, for 21 to hit. Yeah, it'll hit. I'll for, take that full damage. For slashing. Yes, and sir. Then it goes on to you. I'll tell you what, I didn't like that. <laughs> so I'm going to try and knock that guy down this time. 12. Ugh. Ugh. Maybe he's weaker. Oh my Some god! Yes! Yes! Okay, we're not flanking this guy though, unfortunately, so. You are not. 14 to hit. 14 will hit. Yeah, okay. It's gonna take 9 piercing damage. All right. And it's Queequeg's turn. Queequeg. Okay, since the other guy is standing, I will recklessly attack him. Twenty-four will hit. Seven. Anything else? Nope, that'll be it. All right. He's going to continue his onslaught against you, Queequeg, and miss. No, I recklessly attacked. Oh, you're right. Thank you. So he does hit you for seven slashing. So be three, correct? Correct, yes. Ah, uh, you're All still right. raging. <clears throat> yep. While the other is sparring against you, Black Hand, and will crit. Jesus Christ. Hey. So he's going to deal 13 damage to me. Mm-hmm. Um, Have that for six. Yeah. I can't have it, but I will roll my stone's endurance. Give me just a second. Wow. So there I'm you go. Take three damage. Anything else he's doing? Uh, no, that's it. Sorry. Go ahead, Black Hand. No. Did he stand up or did he do that from the ground? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, he would have. He would have used his movement to sand. Thank Let's you. Put him on the ground. That's what I call. Let the bodies hit the floor. Finally, he is able to resist. He saw it coming. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see the characters from the attack hits, but still, a 10 does not hit AC. Oh, yeah, is that why you've been rolling strength this whole time? Yeah, I didn't I see that. I thought you were doing that as a mechanic, I wasn't going to stop you. Nope. Yeah, it's normally just an attack roll, and if it hits, they're prone. Gotcha. Alright then, but right. it's not hit still. Okay, and then my actual attack will be a 16. Will hit. He's going to take another nine piercing name. Nine piercing. Quick, quick. Recklessly attack the one in front of me. That'll hit. Goddamn good dog. Seven again, shit. He is uh, pretty bruised and bloodied at this point. <sighs> okay. And my turn. And on to him. Who is going to tap out. He, he taps his chest, looks at you, holds both hands up with great X and one. Mm -hmm. And begins to walk back. I grunt and nod. As the others welcome, in, welcome him in with disgrace. And on to the other, who will look back at both of you. <laughs> Weakling! And will swing down at you, Queequeg, recklessly. Or 24. Alright, that hits. Six, seven. 
Black hand. I'm going to rotate around to get advantage. So that it's a plus two. Eight. Th this campaign, we're doing the plus two mechanic. Right, so that's an eight. Yep. So, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Does, no, no, it doesn't. I'm sorry. He goes, yeah. so, so, he goes, it is, yeah. You're correct. It is an eight. Yes. <laughs> but so I'm eight. Eight. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, so zoned out for a second. An yes. All right. We'll hit. I feel like finishing this, so I'm also going to smite. Okay. Jeez. So he takes altogether 11 piercing Six, and 16. 5 radiant damage. Yep. <clears throat> Quick way, on to you. I will recklessly attack him. Twenty-four will hit. Seven fucking damage again. <laughs> and my turn. That's All your right. zone, boy. He is going to attack you, Queequeg, trying to finish it off himself. But he will miss. He does not miss. Horribly. Because I recklessly attack. Oh, thank you I for thirteen slashing. Damage. Is Quee dead? No. Is the Quee boy down? What? I take half damage. Yep, he's raging. Man, I love barbarians. Black hand, on to you. I'm gonna rotate around. And I believe it's an action to touch you. Uh. Yeah. uh well, you. I mean, what are you trying to do? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, that's an action. Okay. You get 15 points of health back. Is that is that against the sparring? Because I just want to make sure first. I mm -hmm. mean, he said everything's legal. Okay, cool. Yeah. Just don't kill each other. So how much? 15 healing. Damn. Oh, that's a lot. <clears throat> and then I'm going to get back in position and try and knock him down. Nine. To, uh, well, it would be a 14. No, you're right. It would be a 9. Thank you. Uh, 9 does not do it. Okay, so that's my turn. Quick leg. And I recklessly attack him and I crit. Fuck. 23 will hit, though. 9. <laughs> and my turn. And once more, he's still got a little bit of fight in him. 16 to hit, Quick leg. Yep. For six more slashing. Six. Black hand. Oh, oh that smite really didn't do it. All right. Well. We rage last for ten minutes. Have we had enough rounds for a minute? Not yet. Not even. Okay. Second so rage again. This is about four or five. Does a twenty or no? That's a eleven flat. I already did. Yeah, well, you are, you've get got, you've got uh, flanking bonus. Yeah, I added it in. Uh, oh, I see. The... So that doesn't hit. No. <laughs> God damn <laughs> your new rule! <laughs> You've been super knocked down. Do you understand that? Queequeg. I recklessly attack and I crit. <sighs> Fourteen will hit. Oh! oh! Finally. Holy shit. How do you want to do it? Uh, I just want to, I'm just going to like clock him on the head with it, I guess. Enough for like, knock him out or get some concussed. So not it's not him, non lethal? Know. Just using like the blunt end of it, yeah. Well, not blunt end of it, just the side of it because it's an axe. And you do, you rattle his brain and he falls to the ground as people rush around him in panic. But after a quick inspection, see that he is fine while the rest join in songs of praise and hails Ugh. well that went well good fight right Tom I hey. help the man up and congratulate them both <laughs> it was an easy fight spectacular spectacular now, if you'll indulge me once more, 
horseback riding. I have a meeting to attend to, but I will send for you when we're ready. And he calls over two of the guards. What, why, why is this? This is not the song I wanted. <laughs> and they lead you off to the stables. And they call for one willing participant. Is anyone here good with animal handling? Vault is very dexterous. Like, I'm proficient in it, but I'm not dexterous. I don't think it's much as Vault but, um, Vault is... is uh, anyway. Maybe we should have Vault. Oh, it is wisdom? Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm still proficient in it, but I'm not wisdom -y. Wise. The word you're looking for is wise. Exactly. I can handle animals, but don't have, I'm not the most dexterous on a scale of 1 to 20. I'm probably like a 14. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like, on a scale of 1 to 20, like an 18. I just now got why you were saying on a scale of 1 to 20. Jesus. <laughs> 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 nice. Technically, it would be on a scale of 1 to 30. Yeah, we do have a barbarian. I, but I think Volta should do it. I have faith in him. I... Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, you got this. I'm gonna like Volta. move you and like tap you on the shoulder and be like, Yeah, uh, just remember that uh, if you fall off the horse, you could break your back. Thanks. Volta, remember uh, this. And then when helpful. they get called. If you want to kill dragons, you need to know how to ride a horse. So this guard over here comes around with his horse. Volta, another guard comes over and presents you with yours. Okay. And then... Go over here. And then I will need dex checks from you both. How many? Just one for now. Okay. As uh, the first... 16? The f first one is able to leap and bound with ease, and yours just kind of uh, brays against you and is resisting you. The next stop up... Guidance. Oh yeah, you do. So you can roll an additional d4. Oh, can I? Cool. That's what guidance do. You remember me telling you that if you hit the floor, that property is going to break your back. That'll right, guide you. you yeah. Let that yep, guide there's you. Another, there's another d4. So and we're rolling again, correct? Instead of braying... Yep, you got it. Instead of braying and resisting you, it's leaping clearly higher than the other horse and landing with grace as the next set is a uh, tassel with a ring in it and you're meant to uh, spear the ring and continue riding forward and then I'll need another dex check you've got guidance but it won't help you here as uh, you fumble with the I ring and the other uh, guild member is able to spear it quite easily. And then on to the last one, which is a hay doll with a makeshift shield on each end. And you're both meant to spear it. And then I'll need one last and final dex check. Wow, well that sucks. <laughs> Add your guidance. Uh, guidance goes away after the first. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, you, you only get it once. Unless if I'm, like, you're... sitting on his back and, like, you can do it every time it goes off. <laughs> right. <laughs> and with that, the guild member is successful in the horseback riding contest, and he dismounts, and he's met with praise by all of his other guild members while you're left alone with your own <laughs> horse. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, uh, fair, we did win two out of the three of them. I uh, I, uh, I I'm gonna I'm gonna raise the stakes and say, well, what about a precision test? <laughs> and as you're calling out to them, you are a uh, black hand being tugged at the skirt uh, by a small boy about ten to thirteen age. Okay. Uh, Mas Master Froom, like to see you. Okay. What's up, bud? 
Does anybody else want to go? I would follow along, yes. I just didn't know if I was included. Oh, yeah. That yeah. did seem like a solo invitation, the way you phrased yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, just, uh, no, it, it, was, it, was, it was to all of you. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, then I will have noticed and I would have followed. Okay. Yeah. And the squire shows you off to where uh, Froom and Erlanth are, are meeting. You see the broad-shouldered human paladin, the monk, Leosin, and many pitchers of dark red wine. The paladin's face wears a serious expression, quite unlike its usual open countenance. My friends, we have important business to discuss. At this point, he knows almost as much as about it as we do. But thanks to you, we know twice as much today as we did a ten day ago. Something rotten is afoot. We have no formal organization to oppose these rascals. Not yet, anyway. We're working on that. And we need people like you, who know how and when to fight, and how and when to keep their heads down and observe. We can't promise you anything except long days filled with danger and stress. But what could be better than that, eh? Really selling it. Hmm. I mean, go on. We're still standing here. Yes. You haven't scared us off yet. Yes, as Antar has mentioned. We owe you a debt of gratitude we cannot hope to repay. We know now that the cult is headed north. But two questions still remain. Why? And where? By now you have heard of my guild, the Harpers. I spoke briefly of it at the camp. We are a secretive group. We are dedicated to further, furthering equality and uh, justice, keeping power out of the hands of those who do not deserve it. Hmm. We are loosely organized. Our agents are allowed wide freedom of action. And I represent the order of the guild. My order shares many of his principles, but uh, we are very much different. Mine emphasizes faith, vigilant, the constant struggle against threats of evil. Many of us are clerics or paladins, those touched by the divine. But we would welcome anyone who shares in our ideals. Discipline is key, and the order is structured, hierarchical. You will earn your rank. Okay. Mm. Yes. Uh, no disrespect to either of you, but not neither of you uh, entice me with these offers. I'm glad to help out in any way I can to stop this dragon's cult, but I cannot join either of your guilds. I don't know, the gauntlets sounded pretty sweet. They do not hold any of the values that I have. And I have no religious affiliation. Make no so. mistake. The top concern for both of our guilds is the cult of the dragon. In the past, the cult was more active to the east, and its focus was more on creating dracoliches. It shift now to the Sword Coast, and its new emphasis on the living dragons and on Tiamat its herself are our cur's cause of great concern. I will have to continue my allegiance to the guild I'm currently in. 
The cult is on the move, and it is up to something big. The Order of the Gauntlet, the Harpers... There's a third group, even, in our alliance, known as the Emerald Enclave. We all wish to thwart the cult's plans. Please. The Enclave? Tell me about that one. Uh, we do not know much yet, but we know that they do not support the cult, and for that is enough for the Harpers. I have not heard of this guild either. You do not need to join either faction at this time. We only wish that you join our cause. Well, your cause aligns with the guild I'm currently factioned with as well. I'm with you as well. Yep. Mm, for Same. I'm down to kill, kill dragon. Um, Thar kind of grows sullen a little bit. <clears throat> Perhaps you not be those I thought you were. I said I wanted to join the goal. What the hell? <laughs> you then. Black, Black Hand will join. Come with me. Hey. My allegiance hey. is with the Horde. And then he goes into this room and down here. <laughs> I like how you were poking your head back out. It goes in this one. Victory for some fatness. Make it true. I will. Do not will, fear um, death. I will look at Leosin. Mm hmm. Hello? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to look at Leosin. Mm hmm. And I'm going to tell him, give me a name and a... You broke up there. Oh, I, I look at him and, t and tell him, give me a name and I'll give you a corpse. <laughs> For now, we know, we know Resmir. We've heard whispers of Severin, but we do not know the importance of that name quite yet. I can't see anything. Everything's black. Where did you go? You're cutting in I'm, now. I'm here. Yeah. I'm still going to understand what was just said. Really? Maybe it's on my end. I'm cutting in now. Oh, there he is. I see him now. Okay, there I am. Right here? Right? Yeah, there you are. You keep changing your token on me. But this one looks better. Does <laughs> someone say Resmir? Yes. Resmir. I saw her at the raiders camp. She left before anyone else did. So far we have learned she is far ahead with the rest of the caravan. Hmm. So we where's me and my target, eh? One hey, if you're going after Resmir, if you're going after Resmir, I'm coming. Hmm. Thank you. And you, Frogman. Very well. Leosin. Yes. Where would I be able to meet someone from the Emerald Enclave? Waterdeep. There's a council meeting soon. Where is that meeting? At Waterdeep. Where so, in Waterdeep? So, do I just walk into Waterdeep and say, Hey, I want to see the Emerald Enclave. That is not for you to know. It is not for me to know. <clears throat> Perhaps soon. We will find out. All right, I will be on the lookout for them. Let's start hopping all over. Blackhand. Yeah. An Anthar is disgruntled, pacing back and forth about his room. Why would you keep such company with 
Rascals such as them. They have no honor, no justice, no guiding light. Hey, just relax, man. Those rascals got me where I am today. <laughs> what has become of your hands? Oh, those... So, that's a mark from my former club. They, uh, weren't, weren't happy with my ability to heal. Hmm. Burned my hands. Cast me out. Hey, it's cool, though. I, I bear no ill will toward them. They are my family. Or were. He holds them both in his metal gauntlets. You will face no such judgment in the Order. We welcome your he healing powers. Here, let's go. Nice. <laughs> Good to be respected for one's abilities. Your friends. You trust them. The orc with my life. The rest I've barely known. Very well. Let us rejoin them. And after what well, was about I, five I, or seven I, minutes, I, I want that uh, if possible while they're walking in, like I'm I'm just leaning over on, on the counter, just kind of telling us. And so, anyways, there I was, right, just looking this guy dead in the eye, and he says, "Please, I have a family." And I'm like, "Yeah, but I need money." Feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you feel awesome, bada beam, bada boom, you shoot him, you get money. Nah. <laughs> ah, what a tale. What a tale. And now then, I have arranged a vessel. It will sail down the river Chantar tomorrow morning at first dawn. You will meet us there. How many dawns do you have around here? It's late in the evening at this point. Probably 10 or 11 in the evening. Wait, you have a vessel? Yes. Uh, what kind of vessel? Enough for a small crew. You and those we have set to stock it. <laughs> I trust one of you knows how to sail? Uh, yeah, yes, I've been a part of many ships. Spent some time on a boat. But what type of uh, ship is this? Is it a keelboat? Long ship? Sailing ship? <laughs> it is a dinghy. Galley? Galley. A dinghy? Galley. Dinghy. Ga galley. Uh, yes. By our calculations. The wagons would have taken 25 or 30 days to reach Baldur's Gate from the time they have left. The wagons pulled out at least a day ahead of you from your return to the camp, and you've already spent the better half of a day here. Uh, with your return to Greenest and your trip here to El Torel, uh, 8 to 10 more days. Uh, I suppose... There's at least 10 or 15 more days before the cult reaches Baldur's Gate. The vessel here should get you there in three. Very well then. Let us journey to the vessel. Who else is going to help us on this vessel? I'm afraid you are on your own. You must okay. make well, sure... Well, yes, this is, this is a galley. It takes about 80 crew members to man this. I suppose you will manage then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who was <That's> that? <laughs> you said it would take about three days to get there? Yes. In this galley? Through the river Chantar, yes. So this is about 300 miles away. 550. It would, it would definitely by, take more then. By foot. If you follow no, the trade but, a, but a, a galley takes 
If you follow the river, six miles per day. If you follow the river Chanthar, it's much quicker. Now, that is assuming you sail three days straight. Should you tie up for the evening, assume five. What say you? Is this where we'll find this uh, Rasmia? That is the word, yes. Well, what are we waiting on, boys? Let's go to the boat. Yep. Jump on. Very well. Black hand. Once again, we are in your debt. Yeah, no big deal. Just fate of the world on our shoulders. We can handle it. And you guys once again get a long rest. The morning, yep. that morning, the city is quiet. Just most of its citizens are still fast asleep. Anthar and Leosin walk with you down to the docks, where some of the workers are present, stocking the boat. Others await you at the docks with fresh outfitted clothing, new gear, exactly the same as what you were wearing before, but cleaned. All of the weapons have been sharpened. Oh, very nice. And they roll out a mat and any new weaponries that you can get from any normal merchant, like uh, arrows or daggers or thrown axes or crossbows or anything like that is present here. Take your pick! Is there a blowgun? There is. Immediately is rush there... and take it. And... Is there more crossbow and uh... bolts? Yep. There is a quiver of ten bolts. How many hand axes? Two. Only ten needles. Only two? Oh, that guys suck. I'll take the two. What else is there? <clears throat> there's, uh... Javelins and spears. Yep, there's five javelins, two spears, two so short swords, axe? two long swords. There's two of everything. Two long swords, short swords, great axe, great sword. I take one great axe and two of the hand axes. Are they daggers? There are daggers. There are four daggers, in fact. I'll take them. Rations, torches. Already on the boat. Fingers. You've got 50 rations and 10 torches. Okay. And as you're stepping along the gangplank, Blackhand, Anthar grabs you by, he does kind of the, uh, the forearm shake with you. Mm -hmm. And he whispers to you, Seek out Akin Salaban. He is in Blackgate. He will help. Send me that name, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And Leosin and Antar push off the boat and gather the gangplank <clears throat> as you all set off in the early morning. Mm -hmm. And give me just a moment, please. I'll think about it. Uh, <coughs> I can have a moment. Who would be uh, driving? I don't know the charter a boat. I'm a frog. Black Is Blackhand or Queequeg, who would be driving? <coughs> I'll take the boat. Alright, give me just a moment to use the restroom, please. Be careful. You have my crossbow. All right. And my axe. A noise! Oh, come on. My bell! I must avenge the death of my brother. 
You have my bow and my axe, the necromancer, and your brother. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, thank you for that break. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That'll be $20. Uh, your check's in the mail. That's right, sweet. And <clears throat> you set off down the river Chanthar. The sky is light purple tinged with orange at the tree line. The river is mostly calm as a gentle breeze blows the fields about as if they were dancing. Queequeg and Blackhand, you've got a familiar feeling being back on the water together. Ah, uh, yes. As the group sails west towards Baldur's Gate. The first night. Are you tying up or are you continuing to set sail? Um. I think we should sail on through the night. Yes, continue on. All right, first night, sails through quite uneventfully. The stars are mesmerizing. It's, uh, here, let me, uh, put you back over here. You are going to... You guys are here right now. And you're sailing. Where? Did it not ping for you? Nope. Maybe zoom out? Zoom out to where? Aren't we on the Chanthar River? Yeah, do you see the map right now? Yeah, I see El Elator Hour and I see Baldur's Gate. Yep, you're sailing down the, El the Chanthar River. Towards Baldur's Gate. Okay. The second day is also largely uneventful. And that night, are you tying up? Or are you continuing to sail? Uh, presumably you would be able to take shifts uh, resting between Queequeg and Blackhand. Uh, Grunty, you, Valter, and um, Ixen, Ixen. Ixen would be able to just rest whenever you please. I think we should keep on sailing through the night. The quickest we can get to Baldur's Gate, the better. Correct. I'm going to be in a boat. Alright. Into the evening, you come upon a boat that is currently tying themselves down. For the night. On the boat are four cultists. You can recognize them quite easily by their black armor and their black flared mantles. And then a well dressed or a well armored knight looking figure. And they Hold on guys, I think I've got this. They definitely notice you coming down the river so as we're coming down the river I kind of head to the front of the boat leaving uh, quick mm -hmm. and I'm going to uh, just kind of stand there and you know show my scabbard off and you know give them a wave like hail all hail the dragon queen yes indeed hail the dragon queen And, uh, you see one of them motion to the other, and 
they one of the other uh cultists goes and grabs a rope with uh, a pair of bolas attached to it and as you're riding alongside he throws throws the bolas another guard comes over and throws another set of bolas and pull you in to join their boat at the dock okay cut the bolas <laughs> as they jump onto your ship son of a bitch they cheated and board you Shit, guys, this did not work out. I didn't give them permission. Yeah, they're like vampires. Oops. It is, it Everybody knows cultists are like vampires. Ships count as a residence. <sighs> what is your purpose for traveling this late at night? What is your purpose for pulling us in? This route is off limits except on this cult business only. You. Only. And you're out past curfew. Get off our boat now or I'll throw you off. And they all begin to draw their swords. I rush. The, ar the man in armor is wearing a black cloaked hood and a piece of fabric covering most of his face, exposing only his eyes. And as Queequeg begins to rush, they all draw their swords. And then I'll need initiatives. And I read it, Rob. be so violent, guys. They started it. They they took over our boat. No, they just. You want to not attack them? We don't have less to. less dragon cultists is always good. <clears throat> I'm down for killing dragon cultists. They weren't attacking us yet, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, well, they just I mean, boarded the boat. Know, I wasn't until someone charged, but we're not going to name names. First... I will charge less people, okay? But I am a sailor, and I know this doesn't end well. First one's going to run up to you and slash at you. Quick, Craig, please don't die. 16 to hit. Why is it 16? Is it advantage? Yep, fanatical advantage. All right, six damage. Um... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Six damage, yes. As he slashes into you. Once per turn, if the runaway is weapon attack with advantage. Wait, how does he get advantage, though? Because it says so. Well, it says once per turn, if the Dragon Hall makes an attack with advantage. Oh. How did he gain advantage, though? I see. I was reading that wrong. Thank you. I was reading that wrong entirely. I thought it just gave him advantage on the attack roll. My fault. Read it. My as the, uh, the correct way, but I presume she was just changing it, which you're entitled to do. No, I wasn't. No, I was reading it incorrectly entirely. I thought it just gave them advantage on the attack roll. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, then. 16 and 8 won't hit. Yep. Thank you for wait. correcting me. Oh, wait. 16 will, though. 16 does hit? Yeah, 16 does okay. hit. The first so, one, the 8 didn't. So, uh, we're ignoring that one. So, okay, you'll, so you'll 16, take one slashing damage. I'll take one. <laughs> I laugh at him. I laugh in his face. Uh, I try and grapple him. Go ahead. Son of a bitch. That ends my turn. Grunty. Uh, is there a post here? Like, some sort of a... There's a mast here. A pole to climb. Right. There's how, a... how high up is it? Uh, about 40 feet. Mm. It's connected to a pole, right? Yep. With a ladder? Uh, no. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you guys couldn't see down there. That should help. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm going to just hip, a hop, a hippity. No, okay. Hip, hop, hippity. Stand on this here crate thing with thing. And shoot at... 
Well, r rub the the arrow on my cheek and shoot at this man here. Okay. Can I make a recommendation? Yeah. Do. I shouldn't buy this dev to do it. I'm I'm very down below. What? Just do it. I, I'm too far below for that to be worth it. Alright. Uh so <laughs> Is that Shut an actual up. text that you got? Yeah. That's hilarious. Uh, I assume a 13 won't hit? 13 will not hit, no. Um, well, then I suppose I do have a bonus action left. And for my bonus action, I'll take the hide action. Very good. Uh, 15 for stealth. That'll do it. You're hiding behind the uh, chest, the little footlocker there. All right, good. And, and that'll be me. On to the cloaked figure. <clears throat> who is going to pull out a heavy crossbow. And <gasps> aim it at you, Black Hand. Don't do that. <clears throat> 19 to hit. <clears throat> yeah, that hits. Seven piercing. <clears throat> okay. My harsh nemesis. What, a heavy crossbow? Another heavy crossbow user. Uh oh. As this dragon claw runs up and goes to slash you twice, misses both times. Ooh. Nice. Right? Walter, on to you. Walter's gonna move up and stare that guy dead in the face right there that shot the crossbow bolt. And, uh, well, I'm sure you can take a guess at what Walter's gonna do. Hopefully not miss this time. Don't you dare hurt my feelings <laughs> like that. <laughs> Use. There we go. Uh, 20 to hit. Okay. So what's going to happen is uh, I'm going to use a superiority die. And mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to disarm him of his crossbow. He's going to make a 13 strength check. No, that sucks. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. He still takes seven damage himself. If plus your happens. superiority die? Uh, yeah, plus my superiority die, which is... Which would be a d8, correct? Yep. So Twelve I damage total. Yes. That is correct. That is correct. As the cloak figure, you can see his brows for all his got an anger expression but the way he's dressed it really only you can only see his eyes good that's the end of my turn i hope he's angry <laughs> black hand <clears throat> oh boy uh well can't really move so gonna use my bonus action to cast thundering smite And then I'm gonna try and hit this guy in front of me. Don't try. Ooh, I didn't fucking try, did I? Holy shit. So there's the regular weapon. Twelve damage. damage. How do you wanna do it? Style from that. Um well since the smite hits him and it just blows him away, just send his body into the water like a stupid dumb idiot ragdoll. <laughs> and then I'm gonna step where that guy was, like, bitch, what's up? <laughs> That's my turn. Yeah. This one is going to. Um, yep. Make a break for below deck. While the one in front of you, Black Hand, is going to step up. And since he's got an ally within five feet, 
He's going to attack you twice for uh, 15 out of 24. So 24 will hit, the 15 will not. For 8 slashing. Oh, I'm sorry, the once per turn, we'll still keep the roll, but 13 instead of 15 still doesn't hit. He's sure only doing it. Still, he's only allowed to do that once per turn. Sorry. Okay. Ixen. I'm going to look at the knight, and I'm going to pull out a finely tuned piece of metal. Hold person. On which one? Uh, The big, bad boss guy there. Crossbow boy. Ooh. He is paralyzed. Ooh, freezes. And then going to jump on one moment. I've got a idea. Hold on. I'm going to risk an opportunity attack, but that's fine. To get to here and to here. So I'll take a single opportunity attack if he wants to make it. Oh, he does. Make it. For 10 slashing. Uh, how much did he hit for? 10. I mean, what? Okay, I'll take it. Ouch. Does he have advantage on that? Yes, because he has pack tactics. Ah, okay. ah very well. I'll take 10 slashing, and then I'm going to try and kick this paralyzed man into the ocean. Okay. Uh, uh, we'll do strength versus athletics, and he has disadvantage on athletics or acrobatics. Technically, he can't move, but I'm also not that strong. He's paralyzed right now? Yeah. I'm just very, very uh, weak. Paralyzed, amazing. that means a paralyzed creature is incapac incapacitated and can't move, speak, and automatically fails... Fails strength and dexterity saving throw. There we go. Automatically fails. Correct. I kick him in the water while he's paralyzed. Attack rolls against the creature has advantage, and any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit if the attacker is within five, uh, five yeah. feet. I launch him in the water and watch him sink in his plate mm -hmm. mail. Because he can't mm -hmm. swim in plate mail. <laughs> I'm presuming he's wearing plate. Nope. Splint. Ah. Well, is that heavy? Well, he's not swimming, that's for sure. I don't know if Splint Mail is heavy. Because uh, I remember you, so it says it's like you can't swim in it's heavy armor. heavy enough. Where is this well, one? even if he could swim in it, he's paralyzed. It is heavy. And he is paralyzed. Yes. I watched him go under. I'll take him some time, but he'll drown. That was kind of evil. I'll watch him, I'll watch him drown. That's mm. my turn. That's even more evil. He's an evil dragon cultist. He, he, he did board our ship in the attempts of killing us. So. Yeah, I'm See, you this, guys. this is what I'm well known for. Remember Feyline? The, <laughs> the <laughs> river <laughs> Chanther is about 10 feet deep. So you can still see him, but he's still very much not able to swim up or anything. And he's gasping for breath. I'll keep my concentration and stare at him. That's my turn. On to the dragon claw. Who Bring will it. slice and slice against you, Queequeg, and miss, miss. miss. horribly both miss. times? Well, you recklessly attack. Does the 16 hit? I didn't recklessly attack. Oh, I thought you did. Did I? No, I didn't. I, I tried to attack him. Or I tried to grab him. I didn't oh, get that's right. Attack. Yep, 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 yep. Does he affect tactics? Yeah, but there's no ally within five feet of him yeah. versus Queequeg. Yeah, get out of here, rule lawyer. <laughs> Queequeg, right, I'm under I uh, recklessly attack this guy, and I shout at the same time, uh, Someone get the one down below. 23 Damn. will hit. 15 damage. Barely hanging on. I tell him just to fall over, end of my turn. Grunty. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um, well, I'll just jump real quickly here. And down here and follow suit to the man going downstairs. And I will uh, 
as part of my action, uh, as part of the attack action, I'll rub my rapier against my little cheek and then try and just stab him. Weird flex, but okay. Which one? Come on! The, the one going down. Okay. Eight will not do it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess take the <gasps> disengage bonus action and... Uh, uh, I went from me to here. So I still have five more feet of movement. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. And that's my turn. On to the road figure who will attempt. Oh. He stays paralyzed. Yep. Valter. How's the sick now? Valter is going to. uh, This guy that's about to run down here. He's going to get attacked. He's going to get attacked by a crossbow. Oh, wow. Nice. Damn. Um, and, uh... Get out of here, cat. Um, <laughs> Volter is... So he takes nine, and then Volter is also going to action surge, and Ooh. he's going to try it again. And this time, he's going to try and add precision shot to his hit. God help us all. God... Damn. Mm. Yeah, boy. Mm, yeah, that's that's so. Well, he'll take the nine. That's... Yes, he will, and that'll be the end of my turn. Black hand. All right, boys. <clears throat> you get flanking, cause I'm here. Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, instead of knocking him down, I'd like to move him five feet into the fucking water. Over the ledge, and he falls yeah. over, and he's gas. He's struggling to stay afloat. He's yep. probably about three and a half, four feet down from the ledge. And then I'm gonna come stab this guy. Hope. Do I get flanking because of Walter? No, he he's up on the ledge right now. Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Doesn't fucking matter anyway. A 13 <clears throat> will not hit. No, no. Nope, it's an 11. Oh, I see. You gotta look at my shit, man. I'm on top of it. That's my turn, though. Alrighty. On to... This guy. Who's gonna run downstairs, take his attack of opportunity from Black Hand? I mean, who says I want to? I do. Doesn't matter. Same exact roll. Uh, 13, yeah, doesn't hit. And on to the next one! Who is going to try to swim and fail horribly and just. Fall further away from the boat. Ixen. I'm gonna look down at the night. Does he look like he has any chance of really he's getting at, out of that water? He's at the bottom. You can you can see it. it's it's pretty murky waters, but you can you can see just the faint outline of him. And uh, he's fighting to get back up, but right now he's gonna be there for a while. Let's uh, let's end his suffering. I'm gonna fire a guiding bolt in him. If you hit. If I hit. Yes. 20, <laughs> that's a crit because it's paralyzed. That is. 34? Is that 34 da damage? 34 damage, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, but is that 34 damage? That is 34 damage. Fun fact if I hold person someone and you put your poison on them, they take 44 poison. And they take double mm -hmm. sneak attack damage. 
as you see him just reel back as the ray of energy pierces through him. <laughs> and, and the bubbles just go out, out of his masked face. Thanks, I love you so much. This, this one's is my gonna call out. He's got Lyrus! Bring him to Rosner! As he uh, slices out at you, Queequeg. They both hit. For 11, 5 slashing since you're raging still? Yes, sir. And it goes on to you. I recklessly swing at him. 15 will hit. Fuck yeah. And that'll do it. He dead. He very dead. As he drops, I rush down. Did... Why can't I see that? Oh, that's weird. So yeah, I'd be here some... Do we... Wait, did we kill all the other ones? There's one downstairs still. And two drowning in the water. Okay, then I would come to about here, and that would end my turn. Grunty. Yes. Uh, 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 this man needs to suffer more. I'll, I'll short bow him. Rub your poison on that. Ooh, 25 that'll... to hit? Yep. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah. Roll that again. It's a crit. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Minus the yeah. Index. That much damage. It's more than enough to do it. So how do you want to do it? I kind of want to, like, hop up the whole 15 feet and then just pull this short bow as much as possible. Then just release it and I want the arrow to just go straight through him and then the his boiling blood begins to wash Ooh, as he floats up Shop. to the surface of the water yep falter on to you there's one downstairs and one trying to stay afloat oh he's trying to stay afloat does, he, does does that give me advantage by Oh, chance? yeah. He's uh, not restrained, okay. but pretty much restrained. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hit him. Uh, try and make it a precision shot. Uh, Ooh, oh, 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 there we go. What is wow. going on? Wow. That's enough Beautiful. to do it. Just, just for overkill measures. Shooting fish in a barrel. Ah, <laughs> fish in the barrel. 31 damage. I'm gonna shoot him through the throat, and the <laughs> arrow's gonna like, not, it's gonna like bounce off of his throat, but it's gonna leave a hole in his throat, and he's gonna drown from that. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. He, he, like, he's gonna <laughs> drown from me. He's not gonna die from, like, you know, Getting shot uh, losing losing blood pers profusely. <laughs> no, he's going to die from suffocation. Right? It's, it's fantasy, alright? Blackhand, on to you. Are, are there any motherfuckers still alive? There's one guy that went yeah, downstairs. Yeah, there's one downstairs. I'm going to go downstairs. <clears throat> hey, guy. <laughs> Hello. Surprise, you're on the ground. Yep. <laughs> Show is. Surprise, does a 15 hit? It does. Surprise. Surprise. Anyway. That's the that. magic number. That's exactly what you needed to do. So as I spear into him because he's on the ground, I'm just going to like laugh at him because he's so stupid. <laughs> And with that, combat has ended. Huh. You know. We, we got a real good way of just stopping enemies from doing anything. Yeah, you know, we kill them. Ever what? since I've joined up with you, 
not being ambushed has gotten a lot less lethal. Not being ambushed is my f favorite form of being ambushed. I'm gonna heal myself. Blackened, you've got you're surrounded by uh, what looks to be family heirlooms, uh, some trinkets, some hand-me-downs. I'm gonna take it off. This is on their boat. Yeah, I figured. I'm gonna yeah. take it off. You come Wait, back. are we on their boat? I assumed Blackhand wanted to go look on their boat. Is anybody recovering bodies? You letting them go down the river? The only I one I wanna, up here. I want to go over. To, I want to go over to this body. Uh, take a dagger, make a small incision in his uh, in his like abdomen part, and take a bit of my mucus and put it down, and then throw it off the water. Just like make sure Oof. he's dead. He is dead. Well, can I even throw him off the water? Uh, you need some help. Uh, a little help here! Uh. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> the the weight just collapses over you. You do manage to singe some of his skin off, though. It's the, a hard not life The rest of you? Us. How much loot did I get? Uh, they seem to be more family heirlooms um, from That's around funny. the area. If you were to show them off to anybody, Valter would recognize them. Uh, oh. As his own family heirlooms. Oh, hey, buddy, I found these. What? <laughs> what are you? What? Surprise. What? Why are my family heirlooms here? They were on the uh, cultist ship. I, I, yeah, that's that's the question. Uh, yeah. I mean, this cape is really nice. Can I wear it? Wait a second. What do you mean it's I'm a gonna, tapestry? I'm going to re-review that, that dead black cloaked guy. Does he look familiar in any way? You could reel him in, pull him in with your rope. Yeah, I'm going to. The one that and is glowing. You reel him in, pull him over, and pull down the cloth, and you see Vantal Babel. What? This is What's going on, fellas? Uh, so... I am so confused as to what's happening right now. Friend of yours? Uh, yeah, you could, you could, you could say that. You could definitely say that. What would you uh, say it is? Um, I definitely, I definitely let you know that, uh, th 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 that's my dad. Do you want him back alive? Yes. Has You're... it been under a minute? Yeah. I cast gentle repos. There. Oh, there you go. Then, when I get revivify, we can bring him back. All right. Well. Lady oh wait, why is your father part of the dragon cult? That's a good question. As far as I knew, he was dead, just like everyone else I know. But apparently, he's a traitor as fuck. And now I've got even more questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but that's where we'll Walter, call the can session. We trust you, though. Are we level shy? No. Six? No. no Seven? What about, what about no. eight? Okay, eight. Ten. Seven. Ten. No, we're but four. Right Take it or leave it. You guys. <laughs> Uh, where were my notes? Where was I at my notes? Uh, at his death, Vanta will ask Val Valtteri to avenge him, right his wrongs, and save their family. Well, you guys didn't let him do that. 
<laughs> the next day is quiet, uninterrupted, and uneventful. The party arrives at Baldur's Gate that morning. I feel like there would be a lot of talking within that day, so it might be eventful. <laughs> well, most of my talking would be with Ixen about how I can be the most... Well, you guys could have could have talked to Vontel, but you killed him. Vontel? Well... I, I've cast Gentle Repos, so... I just need to get Revivify and 300 gold pieces of diamonds. Am I a bad DM right for letting my players kill their own father? No. <laughs> no, that's not the same.